Hey everyone, this is Dumbass Live. In today's video, I decided to put together the ultimate heist leaked informational video. I'm going to be speaking about heist player roles, payouts, and as well as a possible release date. So let's get this started. Be sure to drop a like on this video and hit that sub button if you're new. I upload daily GTA 5 videos two times a day. So you guys may have seen some of these icons from previous videos yesterday. Later in the video, I'm going to do a full breakdown of other information that was leaked just this morning. So we're going to see that a little bit later as well. We'll talk about the payouts. But first, I want to talk about the player roles for the people out there who do not know about the player roles that are going to be in Heist Online. So let's get this started. As you guys can see here from the images on your screen, there's a total of six player roles. Now in Heist, I doubt we're going to need a total of six players every time. But I assume these are the player roles that we will have to partake in for some of the Heist. Now the first one as you guys can see here is going to be a steering wheel and that is going to be the driver icon. The one below that is going to be a computer and that is going to be the hacker. Now the one to the right of that is going to be the parachutist. Then the one above that one is going to be the hired gunman. Now the one on the right of that one is going to be the sniper. Then the bottom one is going to be the leader. So I'm pretty much sure that you guys can guess what these icons are going to be and what you guys are going to partake in these roles now let's just speculate here for a second i assume that the leader is probably going to have to you know set up all the heists and guide everyone to certain spots and all that kind of stuff then the sniper i assume is going to have to you know go to a building and you know take out some people far range or something like that then the hired gunman i guess is going to be a crazy person who just goes ham with a submachine gun or a shotgun up close and just you know just wreaks havoc then the parachute is going to be the guy that has to parachute in sometimes from jobs and all that kind of stuff into buildings. Then we have the hacker, I assume, which is probably going to have to guide people and, and hack different appliances and all that kind of stuff. Then we have the driver, which is, I guess, is going to have to be the getaway driver and drive people to places and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I'm excited for these player roles. And like I was telling you guys, I doubt that we're going to have to have six players in these heist missions at all times I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some heists out there that will probably acquire less people so maybe some two-player heists and you won't need all these different player roles you'll be able to just pick a few things that the job will require so moving on to the next thing is the information that was leaked just this morning and I'm gonna read off these different jobs first one we have is the cop patrol after that we got the cop player criminal arrest criminal car still criminal drugs criminal holdup, criminal pimping, then we have criminal player, criminal wanted, police, police chase, and police station. So these are the different icons that were leaked just this morning, and this is breaking right now. And I want you guys to let me know in the comment section, how do you guys feel about this? And these are, by the way, are cops and crooks. So there's going to be cops and crooks in GTA Online coming soon. If you guys have no idea what cops and crooks is or cops and robbers, it was a mode that was on GTA 4, which allowed two different teams to battle it out. One team were the crooks and the other team were the cops. So let's move on to the next thing, and that's going to be heist payouts. And as you guys may or may not know, I did this video about maybe a week ago. So anyway... Credit goes to FunMW2 for leaking this information right here of Heist payouts. But as I told you guys, Heist is going to be a payout of $1,500,000. We don't know exactly if that's going to be split between four people or if that's going to be just the take for one person. And as well, we don't know exactly if that's going to be a mini heist or a huge heist. So I assume that some heist mission is going to give you guys a better payout as well as the smaller ones versus the bigger ones. The huge slice out of this information is that each time we play Heist and complete it, we will get less money for the payout. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. I assume Rockstar does not want us to play Heist all day and just grind out money. I wish that they would have used this method instead of nerfing Rooftop Rumble, Coveted, and many other missions. I wish they would have did that. So anyway, I want you guys to let me know what you think about this in the comment section. And for as release date, I do believe that we may get Heist or Casino DLC or something like that very soon. I can definitely see that coming next week or maybe the next update. I do believe that we're going to get Heist or Casino DLC or something huge within the next two updates. So anyway, this is Diamonds Lab and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like as well as hit that sub button if you're new. And this is Domus Live, and I'm out.